Hello everyone, I just wanted to take a quick look at Windows Dream Scene. This was a feature that was released with Windows Vista Ultimate and it's also going to be available on Windows 7. I'm going to be using Build 7100. This is the release candidate 1 of Windows 7 and it's not the final version. For anyone who doesn't know, uh, Windows Dream Scene allows you to take a video and use it as a wallpaper instead of just having a picture or a slideshow, which is available on Windows 7 by default. So the first thing you need to do is download the patch. It's going to be in the description section of this video. So you're just going to copy that and open up your browser and paste it in. Click enter and it's going to pop up immediately. You're just going to save it to the disk. When that is done, you're going to open it up, accept, and it's going to tell you to press any key to install it. Just press a key, and it won't take that long. But in the process, it's going to restart Windows Explorer, so the screen's going to flicker a little. You might lose a couple windows. And it's still loading, now it's done. It's installed, ready to use. And just click a key to close. Now you're ready to use it. So now you can apply one of these effects. First you have to locate your video. Now only two formats are supported. And those formats are MPEG and WMV. Uh, if you have any other format you can't really use it. You'll have to either convert or just try to find another version of the video in the right format. So in order to apply one of these videos, just right click on it and click set as background. And it applies automatically and will play the video continuously. And once it gets to the end it will loop back around. So it's pretty simple. I'll show you one more. And this background I actually created myself. Threw it together. But you can also use movie clips and things like that, which is what this is. Right click, set as desktop background. And that's Windows Dream Scene. If you want to learn more about Windows 7, you should definitely subscribe to my videos. Or check out the website that hosted the download. And that's Windows7Center.com. And that's it. Thanks for watching.